about WLBB, Carrollton, News Talk, 1330, FM 106.3. Good morning. It's welcome to the Community Voice. I'm Steve Reddick, your host. It's a beautiful Monday morning. I don't care. They say it's going to get cold. Doesn't bother me. I hope it doesn't bother you. And welcome. And this is another great week, another great day. And we're honored to have in studio today a uh, remarkable woman. How Thank about you. that? Uh, Kathy Parsons, co founder of Impact West Georgia, is with us this morning. And we got a lot to talk about. And all of this is very, very important. And it, it seems like uh, the news has kind of moved in the last several years more toward these kind of issues. So they're very timely. But with that, uh, welcome. And uh, for those poor souls who don't know, tell us what is Impact West Georgia. Impact West Georgia is a faith-based 5013C nonprofit that uh, we organized back in 2004 when we opened um, Hope Center, which is a homeless shelter for men 18 years old and older. It's a transitional program uh, to take homeless men who want to get out of homelessness from where they are to where they want to be. It's been a very successful program. We also do Deserve. Uh, the Deserve Van is a free transportation to all Carroll County veterans to and from their health care appointments at Trinka Davis VA Clinic and uh, Tanner Health Care. We also do adult and community education, our literacy program where we do English as a second language, adult reading and writing, and some tutoring, GED prep, and citizenship prep. Those are our three areas of interest. And so no one can accuse me of being negligent. Let me give out our phone number, 678-601-TALK. If you'd like to call, talk to Kathy. And we're also on Facebook Live this morning on the News Talk 1330 Facebook page, so you can post any comments there. Um, let, let's uh, start out kind of focusing on Hope Center. Um, how many men does this house? We house 12 men and a manager and assistant manager, so 12 what in the year 2019? What are some of the issues they're facing? What are some of the challenges they they're facing? Well, the biggest challenge I think in our area, not just for our homeless men, for but for most people who are low income, unemployed or underemployed, is housing. We it's very difficult to find them housing that they can afford. And um, I'm not using affordable housing anymore or low-income housing, but sustainable housing. We need more housing in Carroll County. Um, well, it's an epidemic. It's across the nation, a uh, housing issue. That's one of the big problems. Uh, a living wage is also uh, an issue with them. You cannot survive on seven twenty-five, seven fifty an hour, especially if you're not working full-time and you don't have some sort of other income or some sort of help it's just very difficult well, a lot of these men too or i shouldn't say a lot of them how many of them have child support responsibilities a lot of them have child support and a lot of them have uh legal fees as well many of our guys not all of them by any stretch but uh, are coming out of jail or prison and while they're in prison those fees continue the child support continues it builds up and when they get out it's not at all uncommon for them to owe an enormous amount of back child support we do work with a a, a group here that helps them uh, and there are no what we call deadbeat dads at hope center we they have to pay their child's back child support or start paying it work out a program for that and they have to pay their legal fees they have to do those things and so we uh, work with a group here that helps them um come up with a reasonable amount of money that they can start paying for their child support to try to help uh, recover that. Well, let's take a moment. You referenced the housing initiative problem or challenge, and that has a lot to do with rent being so high, does it not? Yes, it does. It's very. Uh, we had about four, I think, units listed recently to help our men, 
it one was like four seventy five a month, the other was like five twenty five a month, which is very reasonable for this area. But they were two hundred square feet, t mm-hmm. ninety little little mm-hmm. places, mm-hmm. you know. Um, my daughter recently, and she is a professor at the university, mm-hmm. um, had to find a place to rent, and it was difficult for her even mm-hmm. to find a place uh, reasonable. And she can afford more rent, of course, than most of the men that we serve at at Hope. Uh, and it was still difficult even for her to find something that was reasonable. Because you've, you've got the deposit. You've got to, you know, uh, save enough money to make the deposit. Yes, and for some of our men, they're, they're going to have to make deposits on all the utilities as well, first and last month's rent. It makes it uh, very difficult for them to find. Well, on the positive side, let's flip it to the positive slide. We have a historic low uh, unemployment, very high employment. That's got to help some. Yeah, most of the time uh, when they come to us, if they don't already have a job. Now, some men come to us, they have a vehicle and a job. Well, they're way ahead of the game. But some of us of them come and they don't have ID. They don't have a Social Security number. I mean, they have a number, but they don't have their card. They don't have a driver's license or any kind of uh, state ID. So we have to do that first. We have to get all that in place first. And then um, their job is to get a job. When that's the first thing on the on the list. Now we do take men who are on disability or on Social Security. Uh, with them, uh, it's even more difficult, especially if their Social Security or disability is seven hundred a month. That's not a lot of money. There's not a lot of places, but we do work with Shelter Plus Care and the City Housing Authority. And tell us about uh, the Hope Center. Where is where is it located? It's located at four fifteen Noonan Road, directly across the street from the Impact offices. It's a yellow house with a wraparound porch. It looks like a house, a home. It doesn't look institutional at all. We try to make it as homey as possible. It isn't home, but we try to make it as much like a home and a family as possible. Now, didn't the city have a contribution in the early days of this? The house actually belongs to the city. Oh, okay. Yes, and we just uh, they allow us to use it to meet this problem. Um, tell us, uh, before we go to our first break, let's, we, we talked some about the dollars and cents of it all, but tell us about these men, you know, men in transition, men that have made a bad choice, men that have broken down in some form or respect. What are these guys like that uh, come to you, come to um, the Hope Center Impact West Georgia? Who, who are you helping? Well, I would love to say they're all just wonderful. You know, uh, the truth is most of them are. Most of them are just great men who have made a mistake or had some sort of devastating event in their life. And um, they're they're a pleasure. We love them. Of course, we're a faith-based uh, nonprofit, so we pray for them and and when you pray for somebody, they just become part of you and part of your family. And so most of them are wonderful. Most of them want to get out of homelessness. And so they're willing to do whatever it takes. Now, every now and then you have that 10%, you know, who who are just there because they need a place to be. You see, know? What, see what they can get when, kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, they're cold and they're hungry and dirty and they want to, you know, they just need a place to, to, to rest. And, and most of the men... They're not looking for a handout. And most people think that everybody's kind of a skid row. They're not. These are great people who just need a hand up. They'll do any they do chores, they do community service, they get a job, they keep the house clean. Mama doesn't live there. So they do all the household chores and their cooking and everything everything. And they learn the soft skills. Many of the men come, they've never had a functional day. But we've also had many who have master's degrees. So it's not just an uneducated someone who's lived dysfunctionally all their life. It's a very cross section of adult men that come to us. But we teach them how to make a bed, how to clean the bathrooms, how to put a a meal together that's nutritious, not just pile everything on a plate, you know. And some of them have never had to cook a meal. Uh, They've never had to make a bed, sweep a floor, clean a bathroom. They don't know how to do that. So those are soft living skills that we also teach them. When when you pray for them and, and when I guess even when you listen to them, what kind of impact does that make on their lives? You would be surprised how much impact it makes. And one of the things that the men have told us more than anything else is that you listened to me. 
Nobody ever listens to me. That's what they say. And these men, the the thing that we hear over and over again is that you listened to me. You cared about me when nobody else did. I don't know where I'd be if it hadn't been for Hope Center. We've got testimony after testimony on that. Family has given up on them because, you know, families have limits to what they can they can handle. And some of the men just have to get to a place where they've said, okay, enough's enough. And I want to... I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to do better. You add prayer to that and love to that and somebody listening to them and walking with them, putting their arms around them, saying you have value and worth and you treat them with dignity. It makes a huge difference in their lives. A lot of people have to hit bottom and come to the end of themselves before they move up. That's right. That's right. Our guest this morning is Kathy Parsons, co-founder of Impact West Georgia. When we come back, we're going to talk about the Deserve Gala. We're going to talk about the Deserve arm of impact west georgia but first this word from our sponsors at oak mountain academy our daily schedule includes convocation prayer and the pledge of allegiance by doing so we build a family-like community where all students grow and flourish and personal faith is encouraged through community service and a historical approach to biblical study our students are taught the value of the warrior way honesty respect and responsibility Oak Mountain Academy. We are a family creating legacies. To learn more, visit oakmountain.us. At Tanner, we're advancing health throughout West Georgia and East Alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve, but how well we serve them. That's why we're focused on quality, delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient, every time, is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. Good morning. Welcome back to the Community Voice. Uh, okay, uh, we've got a lot going on. Uh, we're going to try to hit the phones. Uh, let's see if we can. Uh, good morning. You're on Community Voice. Hello? Hey, Steve. Hi, Miss Parsons. Hey. Listen, um, I have a comment and then a question. I was at a conference in uh, Texas this summer, and there was one aspect that included what you talked about. Uh, It had a session on homelessness, and it talked about you've got to build relationship with these people, with these men, women, show them that you really care and gain their trust to help them. But affordable housing, a field trip I wasn't able to go on that they have there, was a nonprofit that actually had what was called the Tiny Home Village. Have y'all ever looked in or researched or checked anything on that? Because it's a new concept to me. Yes, we have. And the the Community Foundation of West Georgia, too, is also right now even looking at uh, and talking with a developer about some affordable housing. But the um, city... There was someone who wanted to put um, something like a tiny house. We hesitate to call it that because people begin to think um, 
things that probably aren't really true about tiny houses. And the city, um, they voted that down not to not to go with that. So we have looked. There are places in, in the, uh, throughout Atlanta that has tiny houses where they do a mixed population. There are some lower income, but there are also young professionals and young families in it. And it works very right. well. I would love to see something like that happen here. Okay. I was just interested. It's, it's a new concept to me. I know there's some scary aspects, but it seems to be working very, very successfully in some areas of the country. So that's really all. I just wanted to run that by you and see if that was anything you had looked at. That's, it, it's a wonderful idea, and it has been very successful around the, the United States, several locations. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for calling. And then um, hopefully that's good. And, um, okay, if we can get a, somebody like me who knows how to operate anything around it. Uh, Justin Richards on Facebook uh, wants to salute you and thank you for the work you do. Thank you, Justin. Uh, likewise from Holly Presnell, a uh, big uh, salute there. Um, tell us about the Deserve Outreach. Uh, this is uh, geared toward veterans. And, of course, you know, today's Veterans Day, so nothing could be more appropriate for us to talk about. The Deserve Van is a um, van that we use. We received a sizable grant from the Trinka Davis Foundation through the Community Foundation of West Georgia and bought this uh, GMC van that we retooled to be double wheelchair accessible. And what does that mean? Two wheelchairs can get in this Yes. Thing? That's pretty remarkable. Yeah, it's great. It's great. And um, we provide free transportation to Carroll County veterans to and from their health care appointments at the Trinka Davis VA clinic and to um, Tanner Healthcare as well. And we're the only ones doing it. And I'm going to be honest with you. We do a good, we do a good job at this. We're not saying anybody doesn't do it well. We just do it better. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, we, we, we're doing it free. And that's the thing. Uh, it, you know, transportation's expensive. Sure. And so we do it. We love our veterans. So. Well, I think the attractive thing about this, if I understand it correctly, is whenever they have a doctor's appointment, you're ready. We are. That's pretty remarkable. Yeah, we need another van. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we do the gala every year, uh, the Deserve Gala that's coming up, because uh, we have 80-some regular clients now in our county, and there are people in Heard County that would love to be here too, And um, but we can't, because of the stipulation of the grant, can't go out of Carroll County. So we'd love to have another one. Also, we can have four runs a day. One will be in Rootville, one will be in Bowden, one will be in Temple, one will be in Villarica, one will be in Carrollton. And it's very hard to um, get them all where they need to be and then get them home. And the difference between us and other transportation, too, is that um, we go in the home and we help the caregivers get them in their wheelchairs and get them to the van. And then when we help them get into their appointments into Trinka Davis, and then when we take them home, we take them back into wherever the caregiver wants them to be and help the caregiver get them back and settled in their home. That, that's critically important it is you know, you're just not driving up in the driveway and blowing the horn right right um well that's a perfect segue into the uh, fifth annual deserve gala coming up next tuesday tell us so you've got a very prominent uh, keynote speaker yes dr john burson is going to be our speaker uh it is um it's going to be the best gala we've ever had. You know, we're the best kept secret in, in West Georgia, I think. We're, Impact try, West Georgia. we're trying to change that. You are. You are, and I appreciate it so much. It's the 19th of November, and it's at uh, City Station. It, was, it starts at 6. Uh, we are uh, Our presenting sponsor this year is Southwire. We can't thank Southwire enough for uh, all they do for us and the community. Uh, we are sold out as far as our table um sponsorships are concerned and we're thrilled with that but there are individual tickets still available and uh, we'd love you to come that's their fifty dollars a piece you can call uh, at impact seven seven uh oh eight three four uh four zero zero seven there you go uh and we can hold you a ticket you can buy them online um and uh, if you call and let us know we'll have them for you at check-in that night and obviously this is a fundraiser for the deserve uh, program to keep it going and keep it strong it is we have lots we have a silent auction that night as well as the sponsorships and tickets and we've got some great items we had a beautiful huge uh solid oak hutch we've got uh 
sofa and love seats. We've got beautiful jewelry. We've got some great artwork from people like uh, Alice Searcy, who's one of our local artists who has work at the um, uh, Cultural Arts Center on display. And we just got all kinds of wonderful things uh, on our um, live auction list too so you'll want to come out and spend some money you say dr burson is the keynote he is and joey huckabee is our mc for the night and we have um jerry rogers is going to be entertaining for us that night as well our well, entertainment are three kind of over the top kind of guys so it should be really good we're we're thrilled we're thrilled with them and their their heart joey huckabee's always had such a heart for helping in the community uh, always been so good to us and uh, Jerry is new to me I've never I've never met Jerry but others in a, on our team have and um, no, he's great they say he's going to oh, be yeah. great yeah. yeah so I'm excited to about all of it okay tell us again where and when it is Tuesday night November the 19th it's at 6 p.m. at City Station uh, and um, we just can't wait for you to come and for more information or tickets, 770-834-4007. And that's Tuesday, November 19th. City Station's kind of on the west side at the end of the bypass, just to, to the west of the university. Mm-hmm. You can also go on our website, www.impactwestga.org, and uh, hit the deserve, van, uh, deserve tab, and it'll come up there, too. And you so can you buy them. tickets there? Yes, you can. Wow. That's mm-hmm. pretty uptown well we're trying (laughs) our guest this morning is kathy parsons co-founder of impact west georgia we will be back with more with her but first this word from our sponsors at tanner we're advancing health throughout west georgia and east alabama because we know that exceptional care isn't based on how many patients we serve but how well we serve them that's why we're focused on quality delivering the best possible care for our patients. It's why we're expanding our clinical services and building new facilities to serve our growing community. And it's why we're looking beyond our hospitals and medical practices to develop sustainable wellness and preventive health programs in our region. What makes a hospital great has changed. It's not how many beds we have. It's how well we care for the neighbors who need them. Delivering the right care to every patient every time is how Tanner is advancing health with medicine beyond measure. Learn more at Tanner.org or find a physician on our medical staff by calling 770-214-CARE. Oak Mountain Academy has offered a challenging college preparatory education for over 50 years. With over 500 graduates, we have maintained a 100% college acceptance rate. Over 90% of our students earn acceptance to their first choice of college or university, and over the past five years, our students have earned over $10 million in scholarship offers. Our students are creating a legacy. Come, be a part of our family, and create your own legacy today. To learn more, visit us at oakmountain.us. Good morning. Welcome back to this Community Voice. I'm Steve Graddick, your host. Delighted to have you with us. You can give us a call, 678-601-TALK, or post a comment or question on our uh, Facebook, as we're doing Facebook Live this morning, with Kathy Parsons, co-founder of Impact West Georgia. You mentioned in the opening uh, three major arms of Impact West Georgia. One of them was something called ACE. Can you elaborate on that? Yes, ACE is Adult and Community Education. And what we do there is we teach adult reading and writing. Uh, we tutor s- children. We don't do that quite as much anymore as we used to, kind of a one-on-one thing now where we used to do old classrooms. And we do English as a second language, GED prep, citizenship prep. And we also do community workshops like uh, get that job, keep that job, um, how to avoid the title pond trap, and those kind of things there. That sounds pretty interesting. Yeah, we do them kind of on demand. We don't do them regularly, but like once a year, you know, something. And, and do, do the guys at the house at Hope Center, do they partake in some of that sometimes? Some of them do. Yeah. yeah the Carroll County, the Carrollton City um people that live in the public housing a lot of them come to those as well well when we talk about nonprofits, we always talk about how you always get back more than you give and i assume that's true here so if someone wanted to volunteer you can pretty well guarantee they're going to take away more than they put in we i can take i can tell you this much we can sure use them if they want to they really want to do something then yeah 
just call us and let us know. We will put you to work. Now you've got different uh, different ways for people to volunteer, right? Right. At Hope Center, one of the things that we uh, love to have are adult men who just will come and, and we call them RAs, resident assistants, and they come uh, in the evenings and they have dinner with our men. And basically they just put their arms around them, listen to them, talk, you know, listen to their stories and just befriend them. Uh, also, meal providers are wonderful. They love it when um, different churches and individuals and organizations and groups bring food. Uh, you know, they love homemade food. That means they don't have to cook and eat their own cooking. And that's always, that's a huge help as far as that's concerned. At ACE, we uh, we need teacher assistants, um, and if you have a, a workshop or something you specialize in that you would like to get out there, then come talk to us. We're, we're willing to listen to what you uh, have to say, what you want to teach. Also, child care is always uh, a big deal at ACE. We need someone to love on the babies while we teach the adults. And uh, then at Impact, there's always filing, answering the, answering the phones. There's uh, there's always yard work to do. There's pressure washing and uh, j- painting. Just any kind of volunteer work that you might be interested in doing, we'll find a place to to s- hook you up. And, and you say you're faith-based uh, Christian ministry, so churches, please contact you. Oh, yeah, and we have a lot of church volunteers and a lot of church participation now. And, yeah, we, yes, we're faith-based, and we love you. We don't care what denomination you are. Yeah. Uh, we're going to run out of time. So uh, this being Veterans Day, um, what kind of uh, motivated you? Uh, you, were, I think, were one of the originals there. How how did this all come about as we think about the Deserve Program and, and uh, serving veterans in this way? Well, I, I honestly, Kim Jones at the Community Foundation uh, talked to me a little bit about um, this Trinket Davis Foundation that was coming up, and they were going to take applications for grants uh, to help veterans some way. So if you could come up with some sort of innovative way or something to do that would really help our veterans, then Trinket Davis, the Trinket Davis grant would be interested in your grant application. So we uh, prayed about it and thought about it. We had uh, our first client that's listed in our brochure there was paying $500 for transport fees uh, to and from his health care appointments. And they live way out in, in Rootville. And I said, you know, that's unacceptable. Our veterans need to, at the very least, have access to their health care appointments. And so that's the application we um, put in. And uh, we won, the, won a grant. And that's where it all began. You talked about volunteers. You can become a deserved driver, correct? Yes. And you don't have to have a CDL. We always need RAs at Hope and C- and drivers for deserved van, mm-hmm. always. Because so. basically you're on call 24-7 for the most part, right? Or well, we do Monday through Friday. You do Monday through Friday? Friday? Yes. They don't have many appointments on so, Saturday, yeah. so uh, we give our drivers a break. But, yeah, Monday through Friday. And we've done as many as four or five a day. And mm-hmm. that's um, that's why another van would be really great to kind of split that up between drivers. Sure. It's we a, can always use drivers. It's a big county. It is. And you serve primarily Carroll, right? Yes, only Carroll County with the deserve van. Okay. The, the grant stipulated Carroll okay. County. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, Tuesday, November 19th, it says here it's an evening of dinner, delicious desserts, entertainment, and silent auction. Yes. That's pretty sweet right there. The, the, the We have these cookies that uh, a Uh-oh. woman locally makes, and they are so good that anytime we do an event now, they go, where are the cookies? You know, and so they'll be there as well as the catering uh, dessert. So you need to call at 770-834-4007 to get your tickets or go online to West Georgia. Uh, West, wait a minute, where is it? Give me that. Uh, oh, w- w- Impact w- West Georgia, GA. Impactwestga.org. To, uh, buy your tickets there. Tuesday, November 19th at City Station. Keynote speaker? Dr. John Burson. Okay. Who's... Who's a, truly a remarkable dude. A remarkable veteran, <laughs> too. Yes. No, he really is. And we've had him on the program, and we thank the world of him. So, uh, well, we also thank the world of Kathy Parsons. God bless. Thank you for what you do. Thank you so much. And uh, we salute everybody who volunteers with Impact West Georgia. And please, uh, we'll see you at the 5th Annual Deserve Gala on Tuesday, November 19th, 6 p.m. Thank you for listening to WLBB Carrollton. Mm-hmm.